Hi, my name is Naz and this is my video review of the Sacred Mini Wallet, which I've been using for almost five years. My aim for this review is to give you a quick overview of the wallet and tell you how the wallet has performed over the last five years. The wallet has three main components, an outer leather component, a middle plastic component and the main metal card protector. The outer leather component has two pockets, which is designed to carry four cards, um, two in each pocket. On the Sacred website, it doesn't mention that the wallet can carry coins, so I'll assume the wallet is, isn't designed to carry coins. However, I've been using the inside pocket for coins. Um, I just make sure that the coins don't overlap, that way it doesn't add any extra bulk. Also. I'll, I have two cards on the inside pocket, that way the coins are supported and it doesn't show up on the outside of the wallet. Connecting the leather to the metal comp card protector is the plastic component, which is designed to carry notes and receipts. I only carry up to five notes or receipts at any one time, that way I don't add any extra bulk to the wallet that's not needed. The main component of the wallet is the metal card protector, which holds six flat cards or four embossed cards. The card protector has RFID protection, which will protect your contactless cards from the bad guys. But the main reason I purchased this wallet is for the pop-up card feature, which allows for quick access to your RFID protected cards. I love this feature. Even after all this time, I'm still fidgeting with the wallet because of this feature. The wallet comes in various colours and materials, so it's easy to match to your own style. I chose the brown leather option, but there are other non-leather options available if that's what you're looking for. The sacred mini wallet will push you to carry only what's necessary, as it doesn't have room for much more. For me, the wallet has enough storage to get me through the day. The wallet is very compact. As you can see, the width and height measurement are only slightly bigger than your standard credit card size. The thickness of the wallet depends on what you have on the inside of the wallet. For me, this is usually two and a half centimeters or one inch thick. Overall, the wallet is more compact than most wallets I've seen on the market. I've seen other reviews where people were concerned about the lever breaking over time but I've owned and used the wallet for almost five years and the lever is still intact. So I wouldn't worry too much about the lever breaking. The card protector still holds the cards securely in day-to-day -day use. However, if I shake the wallet vigorously like this, the cards will fall out. But in the five years that I've owned the wallet, I've never been in a situation where the cards have fallen out without me intending to make them fall out. The leather has aged well over time. It used to look more like the inside of the wallet, but now it's this darker shade of brown. It has survived one washing machine cycle, so I think that's what's darkened the wallet. At first, I thought the leather wouldn't last, as the leather is very thin, and the stitching on the wallet looked like it wouldn't last very long. However, after five years of use and one washing machine cycle, I'm convinced of the durability of the wallet. Overall, I love the wallet's design, look and feel. It is compact and very fun to use. The wallet is durable in day-to-day -day use and the leather is good quality. Although the wallet doesn't have a lot of space, it has force speed to carry only what's necessary and get rid of the junk. I would recommend you check out the Sacred Mini Wallet if you're in the market for a new wallet. Thank you for watching my review of the Sacred Mini Wallet. If you have enjoyed the video or have gained anything from it, then please like the video. This is my first YouTube video, so please comment with any feedback that you have. I will be uploading a new tech or gadget video every week, so please subscribe to my channel for more. See you in the next video.